We landed in Venice. If you land in Venice Airport, there's a way you can directly catch the water boat to reach Rialto Bridge. So you can buy tickets to the boat from the airport. It's around 15 euro per person, and this takes you directly to the. It takes you directly to Rialto Bridge, and that's where we're staying. And uh, yeah. It's a 10 minute walk within the airport itself, so that's convenient relatively to then to take your bags and walk outside. In the airport, you will find clear instructions on how to buy your tickets and where to go. Venice is definitely my favorite place, it just looks and feels so magical. I mean, come on, look at this. After keeping our bags and getting settled, we got some lunch. I tried gnocchi. Food in general is a little bit more pricier in Venice just because it's highly touristic. We then walked around the city trying to find the Liberia. I'll have it on screen. This is a famous bookstore here in Venice and it also has this side where it simulates what it feels like to sit in a gondola. However, we went in the evening and that side was closed so we couldn't experience that. But the bookstore was still really cool. The evening here was just so pleasant and calm. We walked around and just took in everything. We then walked over to St. Marco Square and explored the area. We booked an apartment to stay here in Venice, so as we were walking back, we came across this Rizzo biryani and was extremely curious and so we bought some and headed back home. It was okay, <laughs> wouldn't try it again. <laughs> the next morning we woke up very early to explore all the alleys of Venice without the crowd. It felt like we had Venice all to ourselves. As we were exploring, we came across this traghetto stand, which is basically a public transport gondola. We walked by this cute little flower shop and things are just starting to open up at this point. We walked around to nearby towns and then reached... <laughs> Most of the stores were still closed since it was still quite early. But we still like just walking around all the mini alleyways and exploring Venice. We then came across this fruit and vegetable market. This was the perfect slow morning. We continued walking and then we reached another nearby town. This town was also completely empty and just so peaceful. So what is this district called? I don't know. I need to yeah. check. <laughs> Two thousand years later. So we're waiting. This place is Campos and Polo. As we were walking, we came across this bakery and got ourselves some treats.
now the city was finally awake. We were on our way to catch a boat to Burano. We have officially arrived to the colorful city of Burano. It was said that fishermen would paint their houses the brightest of colors so that they could find their house even in the thickest of fogs. Burano is known for its intricate lace designs and so I just had to buy one so I ended up getting a lace scarf. We also wanted to try the traditional biscuit from Burano, the name of the biscuits on the screen. It was okay. In these shops, you can really see how they display their laces. I mean, yeah, the pasta lasagna is cheaper than this. Like, uh, lasagna is only 12 euros. And in places. Venice, it's around 15, 16, right? Yeah, so it's definitely 4 or 5 euros cheaper here. At least looking at one of the restaurants, I know. So. But all the shops are quite pricey, though. Those are for tourists. Then we had to get some gelato. It was so warm this day, so this really helped cool things down. This gelato store was super cute. I ended up getting my usual flavor of stracciatella. After exploring, we then took the boat back. After we were back, we got some lasagna and pizza from Farni. It was really nice. Later, we came across this halal pizza place and we had to try the pepperoni pizza. This was very good too. Later that evening, we came to St. Marco Square so we can see it in daylight. All the details here are so beautiful. We then walked over to the Royal Gardens and walked around here. This was giving Bridgerton. <laughs> there was no way we were going to spend 80 euros on a gondola ride, so just spend 2 euros and experience the traghetto, which is basically the gondola ride. So here's your Venice travel hack. The only downside is you're with other people, but it really doesn't matter. And then we explored this church. I can't remember what the church was called, but it was really nice. 
And that's all for my Venice video. I hope you really enjoy it. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It means the world to me. Next, I'll see you in Vienna.